How's it going everybody? It is Ethan or Unknown Coder and welcome back to another episode here on the Codecraft world. In this episode we build this slime farm behind us and I accidentally broke a block. We built this because we needed some slime. So let's go ahead and get into the episode, roll the intro and I'll see you inside. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Codecraft. I'm not sure why it seems laggy, it shouldn't, um, but it is what it is. So I've got a few things to announce before we actually hop into the episode. So first things first, we actually finally updated to 1.18. So as you see, 1.18 up here in the top, we have sodium. I'm gonna hope that sodium helps. I might go back to Optifine. Um, I'm not sure, but where is our FPS? I can't even see it. FPS, I imagine should be clock locked in at 60. Um, if if it's not yeah it's locked in at 60 i don't know why it looks so weird but it is what it is um i went ahead and uplit updated to 1.18 because um replay mod and all of that good stuff is updated and sodium's updated fabric all of that good stuff i just wanted to make sure everything was good to go and updated so that is the first thing the next thing is that i am planning to go ahead and dig out like one chunk of terraforming every episode from here on out uh, that way it's just going to cut down on the digging in every episode so i'll do a quick little um digging montage uh, like we did last episode except we'll do like one chunk so for example this episode i'll probably go grab our probably go grab our beacon from over there and then move it to like in the middle over here and do that and then finally this episode we're actually going to go ahead and build a slime farm again that's going to take a lot of digging unfortunately i'm probably not going to do any time lapse of that digging but we need a slime farm because we are going to build this perimeter and i'm really tired of digging a lot so what we're going to do is we're going to use flying machines to go ahead and build this perimeter which means we need tons of slime so the entire um goal slash plan for this episode will to be go ahead and build a flying or not build a flying machine but to get a slime farm up and running i'm not going to build it in our perimeter because i don't want it in our perimeter i'll build it somewhere else um so i'll go ahead and go through find a place to do all of that and get that set up with updates on the way so uh first things first let's go ahead and get our chunk dug out or our slice dug out i think i'll probably do this slice since it's um actually let's see what does this slice look like um actually i'll probably do this slice because it looks like the worst slice i want to get the worst sides done first so i'm gonna go ahead and sleep and start digging this out and then i'll be back after our slice is dug out
three hours of digging. We still got some bad guys over here. So with this side, I'm just going to go ahead and go down to where the river is. I'm going to try to follow this river slash this indented area for the most part. I think it should look fine. Uh, over here, it might get a little weird, but we'll figure it out. Um, so this is going to be where we end this part off today for the terraforming. Next week, we might, or next episode, I don't know when this is actually going to go out. Next episode, we we'll either tackle this corner or keep going that way. That will be all the terraforming we do today. I'll go ahead and try to take our boxes over. These are empty, so I think I'm just going to drop them off over here. So next we have to do the grindy part of this episode and you would think that would be more digging uh since the slime farm but actually it's going to be going to the end and getting like two choker boxes plus i think four and a half stacks to get some obsidian that's going to be the most grindy part i'm going to grab i don't know why it's lagging i'm going to grab a beacon i need to fly this stuff over i'm going to grab a beacon go to the end and get the obsidian and then i'll be back with you guys whenever we probably find the slime chunk and dig it out after taking out two and a half towers we finally got all the obsidian that we need so next we just have to go back to the overworld and start digging uh, i found a chunk that is in our northern side that's like super long so i'm gonna go ahead and put it over there but what i'm going to go do now is go ahead and head to the overworld and dig that out and then i'll be back with you guys after it's dug out i finally uh got this finished i um lost the bedrock just down two layers what i want to do is on this layer actually go get some shroom lights and fill it up with shroom lights and then fill the rest with glass i think that'll look cool i think i'm going to use lime lime glass so i need to go collect glass i need to go collect shroom lights i need to collect lime uh, dye which is just green and white dye i believe which i should have both uh, so that's what i do next is fill all this in and then get rid of this guy and we're good to go and i was kind of contemplating I'm like do i really want to use flying machines and then i dug out this chunk and it took like several hours actually i think it probably took like six or seven hours to dig out this chunk and yes i definitely want to create a flying machine because this freaking deep slate is no joke so i'm gonna go ahead and grab Grab the materials that we need, fill that in, and I'll be back with you guys in a little, little bit. All right, y'all, we finally got this all dug out. I got my green glass in, got one piece. I think hopefully that's it. So it should be nice and lit up. So I think the last thing or all I need to do now to build Il Mango's farm is to literally just lay out some portals across all of this. If I fly up here, I should have all of my obsidian. Hopefully I didn't. Ooh, that was close. So I should have all my obsidian that I need in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and build this. I might actually time lapse this just because, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll be back with you once our farm is finished, probably in the nether to go ahead and do that. thing to do and that is to go ahead and light up all these portals i think i'm gonna go to the top first 
We also need to um, light up, or not light up, but um, bomb proof the top. So I'll deal with that. So let's go ahead and start lighting these. It's probably gonna lag, but I don't miss any. No, it's, gonna, it's already starting to lag. So what'll happen is these slimes will spawn in here. Ooh, that was a lot of creepers. It's a lot of zombies. I might die. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start lighting all this up as I kill these guys, and I'll be back. Fingers crossed with a working slime farm. I'll probably also go ahead and bombproof the top with slabs, and then also do a bit of a block to sit in. So, or not a block to sit in, but what would I call it? A spawn platform to sit on. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit whenever this guy's all done lit up all right everybody we're at our finished i almost called it gold farm we're at our finished slime farm and it's time to go ahead and wrap up this episode in between takes here i went through and i lit up outside so if i go up here i'll show you guys i lit up the ground as we see we have a bunch of torches it's a little bit scuffed uh, but nothing can spawn out here and i also went underground and lit up some caves there's still a few caves i need to light up so that's what i'll work on in between episodes something else i want to get some pickles sea pick not sea pickles i want to get some some turtle eggs to put outside of this to get the um whatever they're called the pigment out because there's a bunch of pigments bonding i kind of want them out of there so in between episodes i'm gonna go through and light up a few more caves i think i've almost got all of them lit up and then i'm going to try to find some turtles that way i can get some turtle eggs and get those guys out of there for now that's going to be it for this episode i want to thank you all for watching this has been Ethan Unknown Coda, and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace out have a good day everybody